Imagine riding on a bus and you don't see or smell the exhaust fumes. Well, that's about to happen in Macon. 41 NBC's Elaine Rackley has more on the Macon Transit Authority's efforts to get electric buses. Macon Transit Authority is looking into getting three electric buses. MTA CEO Rick Jones explains a federal agency called Strong Cities and Strong Communities chose Macon as one of seven cities as part of an effort aimed at improving air quality. One of the programs that they're, they're doing is chasing grants for us that will help bring dollars in to help develop Macon. Federal funds the group is looking into is the Tiger Grant. They're um, researching ways that we can bring in electric buses that does, do not use fossil fuels and that are better for the environment. Jones says the electric buses cost up to $800,000. The buses will also require a charging station, which is about $400,000. According to the county spokesperson, the proposed route will be used as part of revitalization efforts of the downtown 2nd Street corridor. Stretching from East Bacon uh, all the way out past Mercer University and hopefully in the future out to Middle Georgia State University. In Macon, Elaine Rackley, 41 NBC News. Two bus lines, Proterra and New Flyer, are planning presentations to county and MTA officials in hopes of winning the contract to build the electric buses. That's supposed to happen later this month.